All right. Well, let's do one where none of the links really are known. Find all links with this one. We don't know them, but we know something about them. Let's say, uh, all right, so we're back to, um, let's do it this way. This is going to be x. This is going to be 2x minus 2. And this is going to be x plus 2. There's a right angle right there. So I don't know any of the links, but if I find x, I can find the length. So that's the goal here, to find x. <clears throat> of course, I'm going to have to use a squared plus b squared equals c squared again. What's my a, b, and c? Maybe start with C. Which one is C? The 2x minus 2 is C, isn't it? It can't be uh, x or the longest side will be your C. The others uh, <clears throat> doesn't uh, matter on those two. You can flip-flop those if you had them. But All right, so I do the square of that plus the square of that equals the square of that. Right? A squared would be x squared plus b squared would be that squared equals that squared. All right, well, <clears throat> unfortunately, that one is not quite as easy as the other ones. And matter of fact, I'm going to have to use something <clears throat> more than the square root method here to solve this one because I just have too many squared terms and I've got binomial squareds and more than one binomial squared and all that good stuff. So what do you think? Probably on this one, hopefully, maybe, you're thinking. Write these twice in FOIL. All right. This one, don't forget it, just bring it down. This one, yeah, we're going to write it twice in FOIL. So along with the x squared, I'll have another x squared. It'll be x squared, then 2 times x, or x times 2 would be 2x. Then another 2 times x, 2x, and then 2 times 2 would be positive 4. Then I'm going to do the same thing for the 2x minus 2. Write it twice and FOIL. What do I get there? 2x times 2x, 4x squared. 2x times minus 2 is minus 4x. And then minus 2 times 2x minus 4x. And then a minus 4 times a, min <coughs> a minus 2 times a minus 2 is positive 4. So all together on this side, I've got uh, 1x squared, 1x squared. That's 2x squared. 2x and 2x, that's 4x plus 4 equals 4x squared minus 4x minus 4x minus 8x plus 4. All right. Now what? Well, like I said, this one's not going to be the square root method because I just have too many terms running around here. <clears throat> what I'm going to need to do there, aren't I, is make one side 0 because it's an x squared equation. So, since I've got the bigger x squared term over there, I'm going to say minus 2x squared both sides, and then minus 4x both sides, and minus 4 both sides to make the left side be 0, wouldn't it? <clears throat> and so that will be 2x squared minus 12x, aha, 0, four is 0 out. Okay, then I'll look to uh, factor. <clears throat> Can I factor that? I think so. It's got a GCF of uh, 2x. So pull out a 2x, which will make it at x minus 6 with that. And that will mean either 2x equals 0 or x minus 6 equals 0, wouldn't it? Well, 2x equals 0 divided by 2, and you got x is 0. Is that going to work? Not going to work. Just like a negative side, you can't have a 0 side either. Wouldn't be much of a triangle if we had that. So it must be this over here, add 6. x is 6. All right. <clears throat> well, we we're to find all the lengths. We got one of the lengths, 6. What's the other length? Well, one of the other lengths is x plus 2. 
Well, if x is 6, that'd be 6 plus 2, that'd be 8. And then 2x minus 2 is the hypotenuse. Well, if x is 6, that would be 2 times 6 is 12 minus, that'd be 10. 6, 8, and 10 are those lengths there. How about that? Uh, <coughs> got x is 6, right? So 2 times 6, yes. How I got the 10 there. All right. <clears throat> Let me do... Uh, other one here. <clears throat> uh, let's say we've got uh, this information. This one's not the Pythagorean theorem, but it's uh, like it in some ways. But let's say we've got the area of a triangle to be uh, 70 meters squared. <clears throat> if the base is 13 meters shorter than the height, find the base and height. So, now, like I said, this one uh, isn't a Pythagorean theorem because we're not talking necessarily about a right triangle. We just know the area of a triangle is 70. <clears throat> well, what you have to uh, recall there, know there, is what we mean by area of a triangle or formula for area of a triangle. Does anybody happen to have that one? Area would be one half base times height. Yeah, one half base times height is area of a triangle. Okay, and what it tells me is that the base is 13 meters shorter than the height. So <clears throat> wouldn't that, this 13 meters shorter, the base is, wouldn't that mean the base is 13 less, so it would be uh, H minus 13? Wouldn't that be how it could phrase that? Yeah, the base is 13 meters shorter, so the base is 13 shorter, H minus 13, than the height. Okay, so I can <clears throat> make that. It's kind of like a substitution here problem. Uh, make the base be H minus 13. And I also know, don't I, that the area is 70 here. So I replace A by 70. And so I have this little equation here, which... Uh, <clears throat> come to find out is a uh, going to be a quadratic also, so I'm mentioning it here. Oh, Question. Oh, 13. Yeah. Thank you. I just didn't copy it right there. Thank you. H minus 13, not H minus 3. Just checking you. Okay. <laughs> minus 1. Okay. All right. Uh, <clears throat> All right, so this is going to be a quadratic. We've got going to have an H times an H there. Uh, <clears throat> what I would tell you to do with this one, uh, that one half, I can get rid of it. Uh, couldn't I multiply both sides by two? Yeah. Two times seventy, two times a half H minus thirteen times H. Yeah, <clears throat> so that's going to make it uh, one hundred and forty equal H minus thirteen times H. The twos just cancel out there. Okay, well, <clears throat> unfortunately, even though this one's factored, I can only use it if factored if it's equal to zero, it's equal to 140. So I need to multiply this out. Go ahead and distribute the h out here. And so I'd get 140 equals h squared minus 13h. Because I need one side to be zero, I'm going to have to subtract that 140. Subtract 140 both sides to make one side zero.
the left side zero. <laughs> All right, well, that's a good uh, little review here. How are we going to factor this? I think it factors. Of course, we can always try the quadratic formula there, but uh, I believe it factors 140. You got 14 and 10. That ain't going to work. Uh, <clears throat> what else would work? Um, 20 and 7. There you go. It's not wasn't a too bad one. 20 and 7. And with a minus 13, needs to be a minus 20 and a positive 7, doesn't it? <clears throat> so that's going to mean H minus 20 equals 0. H plus 7 equals 0. Add 20, you got H is 20. Subtract 7, you got h is negative 7. Again, like the uh, triangle lengths, you can't have a height that's negative either. So height is uh, 20, be 20 meters. What about the base? Well, the base is h minus 13, so that would be 7 meters, wouldn't it? So anyway, it's a <clears throat> another example where you might come across a quadratic <clears throat> 